hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm sharing with you my cauliflower cheese recipe if you're new here please subscribe to my channel and click the notification button to be notified when i put a new video every week and if you're coming back please like and share this video Hi guys, so today I'm going to be cooking my baked uh, cheese cauliflower and this is what I need. Um, it's a little bit a lot but it's what I want. Um, I will add in some potatoes and some carrots and onions, garlic, raw onions and some paprika but of course you can use what you have, it doesn't really matter but this is what I want. I chopped up the cauliflower in small pieces and what you need is to add in some water for it to cook. A little bit of water. That's enough. And then add in some salt. Just a little bit of salt. Now I want to cook the cauliflower for about five to seven minutes. It doesn't need to be ready but just a little bit and I want to boil it with the carrots but I'm not sure if the carrots will be ready in seven minutes. So I might cook it separately or um, at the same time. Um, I don't know. Okay, I will cook it separately. I think that's better. So like I said, I'm cooking these separately in separate pans because the carrots are a little bit harder than the cauliflower. And if I want them to be uh, boiled, uh, uh, <laughs> if I want them to be ready like I want them, uh, the carrots will take longer. And if I boil them in the same pan, then the cauliflower will be smashed. So I'm going to boil it uh, in separate pans. Now, if you've been to my YouTube channel, you've probably seen this pan a ton of times. And that be that's because I love it because it's wide and deep enough for me to cook almost everything. And if you have any other suggestions of other uh, nice pans, then please just let me know in the comments below. So, I will be adding some butter in the pan. I'm not using oil, I'm just going to use butter. And of course, the amount of butter that you use is totally up to you. You don't need to follow my instructions. It depends on how much you will be cooking. But, this is what I'm going to use. Two of those And of course, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and tap the notification button so that they let you know when I put a new video. I post new videos every other week, so you will be entertained every other week. And if you're coming back, please like and share and enjoy. Of course, don't forget to leave some love. Uh, in the comments below and if you have anything that you would like for me to share on my youtube um, channel anything you want to see me cook please also leave it in the comments below and i will make sure that i do it 
other than that I want to encourage you to stay safe in this quarantine to love yourself more than any other day to try new things uh, you can also do things that you've always been doing and uh, yeah be nice to each other of course so I will start with um, adding my garlic to the batter gonna keep on stirring a little bit of it before I add my onions of course the carrots are boiling as their cauliflower and I also have my oven on preheat so it will be ready when we are get to toast this stuff in the oven and then I'm gonna add my onions you don't need everything to turn golden brown because everything is going to the oven. Just we just need a bit a better taste, and that is why I'm adding all these uh, onions and garlic. Well, some people just add a garlic and that's it. But I love more flavors, so that is why. And you're gonna. Sear that around, let it shimmer for a while. And then I'm going in with my paprika. Of course, like I say, we don't need to boil it to get ready or anything. We don't need to boil it for a very long time. Just to add flavor. I will add in some salt just a little bit because I also added some salt in the cauliflower so I don't need to be a lot. It doesn't need to be a lot. Um, and then I will also add in some paper. I don't know if you can see this. Yes. Add in some paper. Of course you can also add any other seasoning that you have. The paper and salt are the basics, so you can add that. And now we are gonna add some flour. Oblong, like the Dutch people call it. Just a little bit. And again, it also depends on how how um, thick you want it to be. So I um, don't know yet if this is enough, or I will add in some more. But for the moment, we will stick to it. And I went in with some milk. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add in some paprika powder and um, curry powder just to give it some color. Of course, you can skip that, but that's just what I want. So, I use this honeyer paprika, and it doesn't matter which one you use as long as what you want and this one yes and we keep on we keep on steering 
that it doesn't burn on the bottom. See that? Now that's color. Yes. And now we add in your meal. Now I want to add in my potatoes, they're going to be pretty cool. I don't know if I want to add all of them or just a little bit, but um, let's first try this. And I think this won't do, so I will get something else. Yes, maybe this is better. Yes. I don't know if it's too thick. Or I should add in more meal. I think we should add in more meal. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. So I am gonna go ahead and add in my favorite, and that's the cheese. And of course the amount of cheese that you add is totally up to you. And I want as much cheese as possible. Yes. I think that's enough. We are gonna mix that up. is not too thick and not watery so that's good and it has a lot of color like you can see color is good eh? I think <laughs> okay yes this is what I want Taste, of course, the salt before you put it in the oven. Mm. I think I need more salt. It's not one-sided. Now at this moment, I've mixed my carrots with their cauliflower like I wanted to do in the beginning because both of them are cooked. And what you want to do is, oh, there is still some water. <laughs> Go in on the bottom like that. And then we get our this is some heavy pan. Our broth mixed with some cheese and just pour it on top. This is really some heavy pan, so gotta be a little bit careful. Spread 
this all over like that. When it's already heated for like 30 minutes and it's hot enough for me to drop in this. It is hot, just so you know that. So we are here to check up on it and it's getting slowly by slowly nice and brown so in like five ten minutes well five to seven minutes it should be ready so here we are and we are ready to enjoy this baby oh my god see how beautiful brownish goldish it is and with all those beautiful colors we are gonna enjoy it in a minute it is nice and hot so you might want to wait before you serve it or before you eat it because it's really hot it's hot So creamy. Ooh. And tasty. I would like to thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this inspired you in some way or the other. I hope you enjoyed my cooking session. And I hope to see you again next time, next week when I upload another video. Please take care of yourself, please stay home and love yourself as much as you can. Bye bye.